Hey guys, welcome to TechWeb. In this video, we're going to be looking at API product management. Understand who an API product manager is, how is he different from a core product manager, his key responsibilities, key metrics, and finally some problems with API product. Before we jump into API product management, let's quickly revise what an API is. An API connects two systems, system A and system B. So when system A needs some data, it will send a request to system B. System B will then process the request and throw out a response. The API will then take that response and bring it back to system. The easiest way to understand is by thinking of a waiter in a hotel. You are a system A, you place an order. Hypothetically, you order a masala dosa. The waiter then goes to kitchen, gets your masala dosa, comes back and serves it to you. This is effectively what API does. Now let's jump into API product management. So API product management it is not very different from the core product management. The, there are only two major differences. The first one is that the API product manager manages the API suite that either powers internal system or multiple external systems. While a core product manager works very closely with platform or a mobile app. The platform product manager or the core product manager may also inherit some of the APIs developed by the API product manager in order to power their own systems. For example, if you run an e-commerce marketplace, you may be using APIs to get data from marketplaces like Amazon, Flipkart, etc., etc., to your marketplace. Let's look at the key responsibilities of an API product manager. First, building and maintaining the API suite that is solving either internal or external business problems. An example of an internal API would be to take order data from database one and post it into a database. An example of an external one would be where you collect data from multiple marketplaces and bring it to your own marketplace. The second responsibility of an API product manager is to work very closely with the clients in order to gather requirements on what to build next and also brutally prioritizing these requirements based on how important they are to these customers. He's more focused towards clients or customers than end users. Third responsibility of an API product manager is to think of better or more ways in order to enable our customers to integrate our APIs into the their product apps or services api is business world the faster and quicker the integration the more customers next an api product manager is highly focused on documentation and specifically technical api documentation while he may not be the one doing api documentation he should definitely be working on ensuring that the api documentation is suited for the right set of persons like developers integration managers it's supposed to be highly skilled in tools like postman that enable you to test apis faster if you learn how to use postman check out the link in the description the next responsibility and probably the most important responsibility of the API product manager is to enable API monitor. Metrics like RPS, uptime are absolute key when you're empowering multiple systems. Number seven, focusing on data security and compliance. Any leaks here can cause huge customer escalation, likely business shutdowns. Finally, working very closely with your support teams in order to figure out problems and close them quickly. Based on all the responsibilities you've heard so far, you can understand that the role of an API product manager is going to be highly technical in nature while you are still speaking to customer gathering requirements and building roadmaps effectively your job is to maintain the api suit that's already been built out because a downtime of even an hour will cause huge business losses if you ask about the team structure an api product manager will usually report to the same guy as a core platform product manager now that we know the responsibility of the api product manager let's understand certain set of problems with api product manager according to me there are three major problems with api product manager number one roadmap is usually a less creative job in a typical core product management setting when you think of building something next you have the opportunity to kind of think outside the box because it's a ui based platform you can directly see how users are interacting with the product you can think of ways to make easier user journeys but roadmap for an api product manager is usually made of requirements that are coming from either customers or looking at competitors so it's not as creative as a platform product manager this is where we talk about second problem apis don't have a ui so so you are at best limited to the technical design of the api which is the structure of the API and this also means that you're not really tracking the user behavior and this means it's hard to make optimizations on your side because of both of these reasons the job can sometimes get boring because you might feel that you're building the same thing again and again but again it depends from person to person and the role you're playing in the team personally i'd recommend focus more on the market and what to build next than how to build it because your tech team probably already knows how to build api your focus should be more towards the adoption of these apis and actually designing these apis and and that's more or less going to be if you think that this video helps you consider subscribing to the channel and also dropping a like on this video and i'll see you in the the next one.